Now, one of the biggest problems with this storm system is the wind. This is a tree that came down right around Cleaver 2 and Campbell in Kansas City, leaving a mess there. And that's where KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney continues our in-depth coverage this evening. Caroline? Well, Gary, you know, people living in this historic part of the plaza area of the city will have some cleaning up to do. As you can see behind me, there's still some debris left over on this roof after a massive tree came down on this house around 10 o'clock this morning after the strong winds did move through the metro area. Now, although there is damage to the kitchen and part of the chimney on this house, there were no injuries to the people or the pets inside, and the homeowner did not want to go on camera with KCTV 5 News, but he did tell us that these homes here in this area were built more than 100 years ago. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Caroline. Here's a live look now from Chopper 5. We don't have Chopper. Many, though, we can tell you are without power, and crews are trying to help those who've been affected by the fast-moving storm. KCTV 5's Ashley Arnold is live in Lenexa, where wind gusts caused power lines to tumble. Ashley. Yes, you know, Lenexa Fire Department, KCPNL, and Tree Service people were all out here working until about 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can still see some of the damage left behind from the, uh, from the wire and the tree coming down. And you can actually also see, of course, the damage to the tree itself. Power lines came down around 11 this morning after strong winds split the tree with one part in the lawn and the other taking down the lines while hitting a home. No one was in the home, but they said it wasn't the first time this has happened. Crews worked for several hours to get things cleaned up, but the fire department says they expect to be on calls like this throughout the evening in areas like Old Lenexa. We've got several trees that are mature and uh, older ones like this, some of them that might not have been maintained as well. So we'll have rotted limbs or dead limbs. When we get the high winds like we've had the last couple of days, that's when we'll get called out here. Now you can see the aftermath obviously still. That's the wire that we actually watched KCPNL officials take down. You can still see obviously the damage to that tree and the area inside that probably just broke off. Coming up on KCB 5 News at 6, you're going to be hearing from the person who rents this home. And he'll be telling the story about how this isn't the first time. This is actually the third time that this tree has caused damage to his home. Live in Lenexa, Ashley Arnold, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Ashley. And for the latest weather updates, just download the Storm Track 5 weather app. You can track storms as they move in and also check traffic and flight delays if you need to. It's free in both Apple and Google Play stores.